and um, we have commemorated the First World War, of course, and we'll think about the Christmas truce as we get nearer to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm standing at St George's Hall with the Zenitaph in front of me, which is the centre of all of this commemoration. For commenting on a few of the anniversaries for next year, I want to thank everybody for their help and support this year, especially Maisie and Alexander who I met at the Town Hall on Monday. I wish them, little ones, a happy Christmas. I think that next year we will have the continuation of this commemoration. And I've stood here deliberately on St George's Hall Palatel because this was the scene of the great review of the new army before it left for France. By the spring of 1915, everyone on that review and that demonstration knew what lay ahead of them. The news had already come back as to how bad things would be at the front. We we'll also have the commemoration of the centenary of the loss of the line of Lusitania, which although it was carrying some munitions apparently, was still a passenger liner on voyage when it was torpedoed off the Irish coast. There will be some commemoration of that event as well. There will be the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Waterloo and I'm sure somebody will ask me to find a Liverpool connection. Well, I'm sure they will. It will be a much more important one for us locally, the tricentenary, the 300th anniversary of the building of Mr Steer's first Liverpool dock. Now, of course, the Liverpool One shops. This is the important moment in Liverpool's history when it had escaped from the shackles of Chester because up until that date any ship that came into our river we'd had to pay Chester a fee. That connection, the granting of parish parochial status that is separating us from Walton in 1699, the building of St Peter's in 1704, the building of the dock in 1715 uh, the blue coat etc and the town hall is the beginning of what we might describe as modern Liverpool. It will be the 150th anniversary of the end of the American Civil War and if I was being really cheeky and facetious I might even dare to suggest that it ended at Liverpool's town hall. Who knows what awaits us? History will be at the centre of my work for the next of the year and I hope at some point to be starting my talks here in this building again. I also hope to meet many of you on tours of the Town Hall and St George's Hall. So I want to wish you all the best for Christmas and the New Year. Remember where our history is concerned, trying to get a reasonable, impartial view of what has happened is the best that we can achieve and the best that we can attain. Good luck. Have a good Christmas and a happy new year.